you, Mr. Speaker. Well, member for Thornhill. Speaker, for over a month, the Prime Minister's office knew that the public rantings of a known anti-Semite and then continued to fund them until they were caught. Shameful. This isn't incompetence, it's purposeful, and it condones the very real and growing anti-Semitism. The Prime Minister, the Minister of Heritage, and the Diversity Minister knew. They knew for a month, and they did nothing. And it's hard to imagine a month of silence of hate-fueled bigotry against any other group in this country. Who else knew? And why is no one on the other side being held accountable for promoting hate with Canadian tax dollars? The Honourable Minister, This is a very important question. Anti-Semitism, hate and racism have no place in our society. The, I've said this before and I'll say it again, the anti-Semitic violent racist statements made by this individual and the organization are reprehensible and vile. We, the funding to this organization has been cut. Our government will never tolerate this hate, and we're implementing new measures to make sure this never happens again. Honorable Member for Thornhill. It took two days to cut funding to Hockey Canada. It took one week to cut funding to the WE scandal. We c they condemn it now because they got caught, because the media asked them, because they couldn't hide it anymore. A month to do and say nothing about a racist, anti-racism consultant? They knew spewed public hatred. They continued to fund him for a month. Mr. Speaker, who's getting fired for this? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, there is absolutely no doubt that the comments made by this individual and this organization are absolutely appalling, and we condemn the anti-Semitism, racism, and hatred that he has spread over a number of years. I want to thank my colleague, the Member of Parliament for Mount Royal, for bringing this individual to our attention. When this issue was raised, we immediately asked the Department to confirm the project funding details and to inform us on the procedural next steps. After the review, we followed the process in place, cut the funding to this organization, and demanded the money back. The Honourable Member.